All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this vlog. Here to talk about the Northern Illinois Huskies for the 2015 college football season. Now they are one of the elite teams of the MAC conference, and last season they were the MAC champs, going 11 and three overall for their record last season. And in do looking forward to repeating this year under head coach Rod Carney, who is in his third year as head coach. Now last season in that MAC championship, they dominated over Bowling Green 51 to 17 so every team is, has their eyes on Northern Illinois to knocking them out of a MAC title now they do have the return of quarterback Drew Hare who passed for 2322 yards through the air 18 touchdowns and just only two interceptions last season and I do like the return of his center and first team all MAC honors and Andrew Ness to help direct things in the offensive line now last season Drew Hare did rush for 900 yards that was second in the team to Cameron Stingley to and eight touchdowns on the ground. Now just speaking of Cameron Stingley, he's no longer with the team. He's now trying out for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Stingley was second on the team with 971 yards on the ground. So we're now looking at Joe Baganon to step it up at the running back position. Another key player that Hare is going to have to play without is their leader receiver in Deron Brown who had over a thousand yards receiving last season. So we're going to be looking at seniors Jawan uh, Prescott as well as Tommy Lee Lewis to step it up. Both these two players are seniors and they're looking to get more reps um, and in their college careers. Now defensively, I mentioned before that um, the back conference is very high explosive offensive on conference and this is actually one of the top defenses of the, including um, if you go over the statistics last season. Now they averaged 25.6 points per game. Now this year they're going to have to play without their top sack leader and Jason Meehan. He's no longer with the team. He was first team all honors at the end of the season. But they do have the return of second team honors in Perez Ford who had five sacks and 50 plus tackles last season as well as a couple of linebackers that I do like in Paris Logan who has uh, 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 and, um, Boomer Mains I apologize and Rasheen Lemon who's stepping up this year. Both those two team both, both these two players were second and third team all conference honors at the end of the season. Now the star defensively that I do love most is their cornerback in Paris Logan, who was first team honors with 77 tackles, 15 pass breakups, and two interceptions last season. Great cover corner, and he is a good prospect prospect for the 2016 NFL draft. Now, as far as their recruiting process, they did pick up a four-star recruit and wide receiver, the number 48 wide receiver, according to ES. ESPN and Spencer Tears, who had 61, who was six foot one, 175 pounds of as a freshman. They did pick up a safety as well, and Lance Duval Jr. out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And lastly, they're closing out their top three recruits, Jordan Steckler, an offensive tackle. I think they did a good job addressing the offensive side and still picking up a good player in the secondary. And they have been having producing some good players secondary, including Jimmy Ward, who is now with my San Francisco 49ers. Now, for their overall record this season, this is going to be another tough run for them. But I think they could, will make it back to the back championship. And I have them going 10-2 and two overall in the regular season. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have three more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.